SoFi update here on the 30th. So I know in the video yesterday I said 692 was the invalidation level. Um, that was the invalidation level for this being five waves. So one invalidation for that. But this could be a B wave, just to let you know. This can be like this. And then we would still head down. The reason I bring that up is because we never broke this low at 661. So um, let me zoom out here a little bit. So since we never broke this low at 661, it doesn't really make that much sense. <clears throat> it could be a short C wave here. So like um, a short C wave like that. But we never broke below this, and with this lower high right here, you would expect this to make a lower low. That's why I bring this up. So watch out for potentially one more rug pull if we get bad inflation da data. Um, so I just wanted to bring that up. Is it possible that this is a second wave? I don't really see that because this does not look like five waves. That's why in the video yesterday I said invalidation for this being a fourth wave was 690. So I think this is basically an ABC move. So I do think that there is a possibility that this was not the bottom and we were coming up here for the C wave of the fourth wave and then we would still see one more painful move down here. So... I wouldn't get too excited yet, even though we invalidate this is a five-way move. Still very good possibility of it coming lower, and it still never touched the parallel line. So we'll see what happens. Um, be aware of that. It's still not bad to average down here. Just keep on averaging down, whatever you want to do. And then one other thing to bring up is I was just – Thinking about this, when this breaks out above eight bucks, there's gonna be a lot of sellers in here. And that's gonna be the downfall of retail is we've been trained to sell every rip for the last basically like three years. So when this does eventually break out, similar to May of <clears throat> May of 2023. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to sell too early right in this range. And that's actually the breakout range. So my suggestion, as with every video, is to have some swing shares that you do want to sell up in this area. But make it a smaller portion and then have those long shares that you're going to hold till um, at least the teens. That way you don't feel bad if it does come down but you also have that upside still available. Instead of selling all your shares here or not selling any shares here, you do a little bit at a time. So that's a suggestion for when we do actually break out. Not sure if this fourth wave's done. Let's see what happens tomorrow. <clears throat> but this as a five wave move is invalidated. So that's it, another short video. Leave me a comment. Like, subscribe for more updates, and I will catch you probably tomorrow, and we'll see what happens with the stock.